The Weinstein Company has released a new trailer for Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. The film is Tarantino's second Western and follows the story of a group of dangerous strangers that are stuck in a stagecoach stopover when a blizzard snows them in. The movie stars Kurt Russell, Samuel L. Jackson, Jennifer Jason Lee, Walton Goggins, Tim Roth, Michael Madsen, Demian Bashir, Bruce Dern, and Channing Tatum. The Hateful Eight opens in limited release on December 25th and then opens wide on January 8th, 2016. Josh, did you buy or sell this new trailer for The Hateful Eight? I'm on record as saying that I sold the first trailer. Like really? I didn't, I didn't like the first trailer that much. Uh, but this one sold. I'm back. Okay. I'm buying this one. Um, I thought that it felt too much like Django Unchained, which isn't a bad thing because I really enjoy Django Unchained. I, I thought it was Django Unchained in the snow. Uh, <laughs> but this one is fantastic. A lot more dialogue in there, some really good Tarantino type lines. And there's a st- at the beginning, Kurt Russell's first line, he sounds like Jack Burton in Big Trouble Little China. <laughs> and I got pumped for that. I was like, yes, Jack Burton is back. And Kurt Russell. I mean, what was the last thing we saw him in that that had any kind of gravitas, and now he's back? I love Miracle, Kurt Russell. Maybe? Yeah, Miracle. Okay. Yeah, and that was in 2003. Yeah. So that I'm really pumped now for Hateful Eight. Really excited. Yeah, I definitely buy this trailer as well. I, I do think it's the best out of the... I did not not like the trailers like okay. you did before. I saw a trailer at Comic-Con, which was a long, extended, I think, four okay. or five-minute wow. cut. And then the first one that came out I thought was good. This one was much better in the sense of the the music and the tone and the editing, the way they put it all together made me more excited. This one's definitely not a Django. I, I thought maybe it could be when they first announced it, but it's actually more like Reservoir Dogs and even a, a, a movie that I love, Clue, where they're kind of trapped in this one place and they're kind of trying to figure things out. The one thing I do kind of like think about is like, why does Kurt Russell announce to everyone, yeah. I've got this person, and this person's worth this much amount of money, and he just announces it to all these dangerous people? That That's a very good point. Uh, I Obviously, they're going to find out. I mean, they're in a cabin, so the fact that you know the criminal either runs her mouth or something, I like the fact that he goes in there and he's like, this is what's happening. Mm-hmm. Anybody want to come at me? I'm here. It's like 12 Angry Men. You ever seen 12 Angry Men? They're all locked in that room. Yeah. It's a one-act play off-Broadway, whatever. All inside this awesome little blizzard hut. Uh, you guys, Yeah, blizzard hut. And I love the cast. And for some reason, Tarantino knows how to write for Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Like, Samuel L. Jackson, he does, he's a huge movie star. He's, you know, great. But he does a lot of movies. And sometimes in some movies, like... It's like what know, Tony Scott did for Denzel. Yeah. yeah it's just... It, but, but when he gets with uh, Tarantino, it's like, it just he just shines. Ugh. Awesome. So, Sinead, did you see this trailer? I did. I what? like it. Uh-huh. I like the first one. I loved this one. Yeah. Um, this movie looks really good. Looks okay. really, really good. And you saw Django? I did. I oh, love Django. Okay. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.